Hello and welcome to lesson number three of Hadoop Training by Simply Learn. Before we begin with this lesson, let us first recap what we have covered in the previous two lessons. In the first lesson, we were introduced to the concept of Hadoop, after which, in lesson two, we understood the Hadoop architecture. As Hadoop runs only in Unix or Linux environment, we're going to cover the basic Unix commands in this lesson. We're going to see the most useful Unix commands, which we will come across during this Hadoop training. Before we begin, let us go through the agenda of this lesson. In this lesson, we will cover some basic Unix commands to see how to create and delete a directory, move or rename a file or a directory, see the help on a command, and see the content of a file. We will look into the basic Unix commands next. All the Unix commands should be executed in a command shell. Commands are case sensitive and all commands should be terminated by carriage return character or enter key. All the Unix commands given here as examples are taken from the samples executed in the Ubuntu running with VirtualBox, Unix running within Windows. The first command we should try is PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory. The pwd command outputs the name of the directory which we are currently located in. For example, typing pwd in the desktop directory will show forward slash home forward slash username forward slash desktop. In the highlighted section, we can see that forward slash home forward slash jdutter is the current directory generated by pwd commands execution. In the highlighted section, we can see a dollar symbol, which is populated before pwd command. The dollar symbol represents a prompt, which means that now we can type the Unix command. It basically means that it is waiting for an input from the user. We will continue our discussion of the basic Unix commands in the next slide. Next important command we will discuss is ls, which stands for list. The ls command outputs